uh, come from the gangs, the gangster disciples, insane disciples. And uh, but at that time, I began to sell drugs and deal drugs at 90 years old. And uh, eventually, I made my ranks throughout the gangs, throughout the hierarchy in the gang world, and to the in, in the drug world. And by the time I was 15 years old, I had accumulated over half a million dollars. So the gangsters became my family. Those are the guys who helped me make my decision through life. You know, that was my lifestyle. And so my whole thing, that's all I wanted to be. I mean, my brother was a hit man. And when my brother was killed, I vowed to kill the guys who killed my brother. That's all I know. If you kill five of mine, I'm gonna kill 10 of yours. The first thing they did was shot off four of my brother's fingers, okay? Then they shot off his left shoulder. Then they shot off the left side of his head. They were trying to get him to talk, so they tortured him. Boom, 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 boom. Then they knew he wasn't gonna talk, so boom. Then I got a call and said, hey man, we know where these guys are. We know who they are. We got some information with the guy who shot my brother in the head. Actually, I uh, had a picture of himself that fell off in the blanket they had my brother rolled up in. They had my brother rolled up in a blanket, two trash bags, and threw him in a garbage can. So this guy was walking this pit bull. The pit bull snatched away and, they, and it smelled my brother's blood. My brother had been dead for five days. So we knew who it was. I knew where they, I knew where they hung out at. I knew the whole thing, you know. I went through the hardest time of my life. I had a whole lot of family issues going on. So I had this big house in the suburbs of Memphis with cameras all around them. And this house had a big patio. I was sitting against the patio door. I, I had a chair that I used to sit in, but I, wasn't there. I was just sitting by the door on, on the floor. And I just had my head down. But I remember grabbing the Bible and just holding the Bible and I cried in it. And the first thing that I, I, the first time in my life I ever opened a Bible, I opened it up to the passage, true story, where Paul was knocked down on Damascus Road. And I said, God, I, I don't know you. I, I, don't, I have no clue who Christ is. If you are real Christ, come into my life today, show me. It's like the old man got up, walked through the door, vanished.